Welcome everyone to the instructor's channel. Here we are again for our weekly video. This week's video is on design thinking. And okay, so what is it? Well, it's a design methodology that provides a solution-based approach to solving problems. And this methodology is extremely useful. It helps you to tackle complex problems that are ill-defined or unknown. And how does it do that? By understanding the human needs that are involved, by reframing the problem in human-centric ways, by creating many ideas in brainstorming sessions, and by adopting a hands-on approach in prototyping and testing. Stage 1. Empathize During this stage, you gain an empathetic understanding of the problem you are trying to solve. You are consulting experts to find out more about the area of concern. You observe. You understand people's experiences, their needs and motivations. You immerse yourself in the physical environment so you can gain a deeper personal understanding of the issues involved. Above all, you set aside your own assumptions about the world. Stage 2. Define the problem. In this stage, you put together the information you have created and gathered during the previous stage. Analyze your observations and synthesize them in order to define the core problems. And finally, define the problem as a problem statement in a human-centered manner. Stage 3. Ideate. Start generating ideas. Look for alternative ways of viewing that problem. Brainstorming and worst possible idea sessions are typically used to stimulate free thinking and to expand the problem space. And finally, investigate and test your ideas so you can find the best way to either solve a problem or provide the elements required to bypass it. Stage 4. Prototype During this stage, you're going to produce several inexpensive versions of a product or specific features that are found within the product so that you are able to investigate the problem solutions generated in the previous stage. Prototypes may be shared and tested within the team itself or in other departments, or again, in a small group of people outside the design team. By the end of this stage, the design team will have a better idea of the constraints that exist in the product and the problems that are present. Stage 5. The test. Designers or the evaluators will rigorously test the complete product using the best solutions identified during the prototyping phase. The results generated during the testing phase are often used to redefine one or more problems and inform the understanding of the users, the conditions of use, how people think, behave and feel and to empathize. Even during this phase, alterations and refinements are made in order to rule out problem solutions. And just before you go, a little note aside. This is the non-linear nature of design thinking. Different groups within the design team may conduct more than one stage concurrently. Another option is that the designers may collect information and prototype during the entire project so as to enable them to bring their ideas to life and visualize the problem and solutions. 
Finally, the results from the testing phase may reveal some insights about the users, which in turn may lead to another brainstorming session, ideate, or the development of new prototypes, prototype stage. In a nutshell, these are the five stages of design thinking. So, what did you think of this video, the five stages of design thinking? Leave your comments below! And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, you don't want to miss any other topic.